people, today I am going to make some cinnamon sticks. So come along with the kitchen with me, let's make some cinnamon sticks. So to start, we're going to go through the ingredients. But, but before I really, 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 really start this video, I want to know what you all think about what I did to my hair. Did you all think I did a good job plateauing in my hair? It was a whole process. Mm -mm -mm. I am so glad that I give it one more attempt. Put on some light. I give it one last attempt and I did an awesome, awesome job. Now let's get back to making our cinnamon sticks and let's go to the ingredients. Okay, so let's get into all of the ingredients. Flour, going to sift the flour, going to use some sunflower that is just to butter it after it's baked powdered sugar, cinnamon, and yeast you could use normal sugar, not an issue, but I'm using powdered sugar for this. And I also did some with the normal sugar. All right, so now let's sift the flour. I'm gonna set it aside. I wanted to try it with the powdered sugar and see how it will come out, all right? I will also insert some clips of the other one that I made with the normal sugar. So here I'm adding my salt and also some of the powdered sugar. And I also added a pinch of um, cream of tartar. And I'm going to mix. Now the cream of tartar is optional, you don't need to. So I'm adding the yeast. Mix it in. And I'm going to add some warm water. And bring the dough, you want a really nice soft dough as, as you saw on your screen. I use half cup, so you're going to add slowly, all right? Add and see the texture and you're going to add again. You don't want it too sappy, but you don't want it too firm. You want a nice soft dough and you're going to knead until you press into the dough and it stick onto itself and keeps an imprint. All right, so that is how you want it. I'm going to let this rest for 30 minutes in a cool spot. I actually place mine in the oven. So once that is up, I cut that in four and then I'm going to cut it again. So all together I got eight pieces, eight even pieces. And once that is done, I am going to shape into some nice chubby breadsticks. I didn't want them too thin. I wanted them with a nice thickness. And as I said, I'm also going to insert the other set that I made with the normal sugar and not the powdered sugar. They both turn out perfectly, and I didn't use water in that one. I use, um, what did I use? Almond milk, sorry. I also use almond milk in this, as you would see as we go along. So um, as I mentioned, I'm going to make some chubby breadsticks. You can roll them out as thinly or as thick as you see fit. I wanted them a little chubby. We're going to roll them out. And the purpose that I tried over this recipe with the almond milk, I just wanted to see if the texture of the dough and the taste of the dough would be different and yes the almond milk instead of the water obviously made a great difference it add more flavor to the breadsticks okay all right so once this is rolled out i am going to come back with the next step All right, so it's all ruled out, and this is. I also did some bite size, so I did four bite, four of the the dough I used for bite size, and the other four I used for sticks. Right, so let's get into the mixture while we put that in the oven and let that bake for six to eight minutes. I am going to mix this ingredients together: some cinnamon and some powdered sugar. I placed in my container. I'm going to mix that. So once my sticks are finished baking, I'm going to add some butter. You're going to see the measurement of the butter on your screen, how much butter that I use. Again, it all depends on how buttery or not you want it, but you need something to bring the sugar and the cinnamon onto the breadsticks all right you need something to coat it with it can be dry dry and dry that would that would just be ridiculous so so once it is properly well coated uh, you set that aside and you, I continue this process until we're done once it's finished the remainder of the 
sugar mixture that's in the container this is what I'm going to do this is where I add in the almond milk again you could use normal milk but I am just adding at this process some almond milk you can use any any type of milk you see fit so I'm going to add about a tablespoon and then because I want this to be really thick I don't want it to be a runny runny um, glaze I want it really thick and nice and it is full of flavor so once it is properly well mixed I am just going to drizzle it over our breadsticks and our bite sized cinnamon sticks and that was how easily I made these cinnamon sticks I know it's not the traditional way like you would have with the actual sugar and as I mentioned once these pictures is finished here you're going to see what I did with the normal the normal look of the traditional cinnamon and before we get there it was so soft and delicious you can see how nice and soft this cinnamon stick was and very delicious I am not just saying this because I did it, okay? Right. <laughs> Alright, so these are the pictures of the other ones that I made with the sugar. But also, let me tell you what I did with this one. The same mixture when I made the coating. I use, as you can see, I didn't make a brown coating uh, drizzle for this. I made a white normal sugar drizzle. And the remainder of that drizzle, I placed, I squeezed some in the center of, of that one and I used the crystal sugar to complete that one. And how I sealed it, the end where I used the syringe to squeeze it in, I just take some of my cinnamon mixture and just pack it on the entrance there. So that way none of that icing mixture that I put in the center is going to run out. Hope you enjoy watching this very quick and simple way to enjoy some cinnamon sticks. And just in case you missed my video with my sponge cake with a twist, this is the link.